Oh, Can dear. we do a riddle? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. What is Sutton uh, that everyone has? A name. Yeah. I'm very good at riddles. <laughs> uh, can we give some advice? Probably not. Can we we'll give some advice? Give hey, Lids, I need some advice on dealing with a grade A cunt. This is from Samantha. Me and, a ma uh, me and a mate started a CCTV business last year and it was going really well, but we both ended up going back into full-time work. So we decided to call it quits and close everything down. He kept the company car we bought that ended up getting scrapped and kept the money and also kept all the tools and equipment he bought on the company card. I've been left with a £4,000 business, no business loan that was took out in my name. It's £100 a month and we agreed to halve it as we were both responsible for spending that loan but he since distanced himself and dodges messages and will just not pay. It's now affecting my finances every month and I would let karma run its course, but I thought I'd get some advice from the lids of what I can do in terms of revenge because I can't see him paying his debts anytime soon. Thanks, Samantha. Um, oh, Jesus. Wait, just... This rang true for me as well because... You've been buying stuff? I don't know, you know, this business is growing... Imagine if I just turned up in Runcorn and you're all fucked off. With what? L loan in my name. I was like... Oh, I get very far. <laughs> Lad, oh. riddle me this. Where's your fucking podcast, Dan? We'd never leave you, Dan. No. Um, and if you did anything to us, you know, I would petrol bomb your house. So. <laughs> yeah. House fire is the best way to No start. one laughed there. <laughs> no one at home laughed. Everyone just went, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a risk of that. Um... I've, I've never I think money and mates is a a fucking tricky one isn't it it's a famous phrase isn't it wise guys know there's danger in emotional ties yeah yeah it, it, it is a thing such a famous saying but we've gone directly against that because yeah. the first person we brought into this podcast is your best mate yeah so do you, you have to balance people that off people used about to say that about me and being mates and him being mates with me about me and like Paul Blair who owns Hot Wars a comedy club because we're such good mates they were like you, it's a business relationship and wise guys know there's danger in emotional size if you're mates it can long term fuck up business stuff that's just an only trip if I, one of you turns out to be a cunt though, yeah it? but also this business of ours is benefited from by you being mates so it like he's on board because it works on the pod and everything but like as as we grow and we need things like you should just have professional relationships, really. Yeah. So that you can be like, it's not good enough. That needs doing again or whatever. Yeah. I can't, like... The thing is, though, we've we've done quite well at just being like that anyway. It's very rarely does anything fuck up or fin or stay. But as soon as they are, like, I've I've got no problem telling someone that we work with. Never We're mind on the somebody works... the team, aren't we? Yeah, like, it's just... Team, that... me, like, let's just do it better. We want to win, don't we? Yeah. It's like when I don't put the clip up, he tells me off. He's like, fucking oh, yeah, put yeah. the clip Everyone on just... the fucking thing. Yeah, but then there's there's this country, isn't there? When you've you've gone into business with a mate who's an actual cunt and has left you high and dry yeah. with a business loan. That must be <laughs> fucking stinging. Like I just think you don't get my advice with this sort of thing is don't get into a business relationship like that with anyone you don't a hundred percent trust. Because I guarantee anyone who has got that in them to do that? It's a very conscious and deliberate thing. That's not like he, he knows what he's doing. Anyone like that, you know, miles before they do it, that they're not 100% trustworthy. Right. So actually the advice is, it's not about emotional ties. It's about knowing, like being truly cr close and like yeah. really true. So actually it's not, don't trust someone that you like, I've it's, got mates. It's about like, really loving them or knowing them or truly being close to them because then you can trust them. We've been best friends for a long time. So it is different there. And, the, you know, we're very close. We know everything about each other and whatever. There's mates I've got who I'm really, really good mates with and would absolutely go for a pint with them whenever they ask me to go, who I would never bring in to be part of this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, even if they were like, I'm down on my luck and I'm fucked, and I need a job, I'd be like, well, as your mate and what I know about you, I don't trust you. I feel like you'll fucking rob a few hundred quid out the till or whatever. I know we haven't got a till, but, you know, like when we've got, like, some sort of bar set up and we've got a brand new studio or whatever, like, if that ever happens, there's people I'd be like, I wouldn't work with you. You're my mate, 
An absolute. There's pe- I've got mates who I don't trust with the kitty on a night out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're mates. Oh, yeah. You were like right, Tom, but you just got to keep a fucking eye on him. Yeah. yeah. They're a laugh. They're fun. They're, they're relatively harmless as long as you keep an eye on them. But th- there's there's people I'm just like, I'm, I'm not putting 20 quid of my money in your pocket. Yeah. Chances. People who just make a quick hold, buck. It's hold them closer. Tiny chances. Yeah. yeah, that's a famous thing. The mob say close. that as well, don't they? Yeah. Oh, hold me closer. Tiny chances. <laughs> Blue team fucking baby. They, they, they famously say that, don't they? Keep your friends close. Keep your chances closer. Keep your friends close, but shoot your enemies in the head. And that's what, what chances say? say. Have, you, have you heard that phrase? The mob. Yeah. Fuck your wife. In the ass. But keep fuck your friends harder. In and what chances in say is, um, I can good. change your mind. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, take a chance. Take a chance take, on take, me. Take, take and, chance. The one, and then the one with the stammer goes, take a ch- ch- chance. They famously say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chances with a stutter. Yeah. Yeah. Any more? Um, chance. <laughs> chance the rapper. Chance the rapper. Sigs it. Anything he says goes. Changes by Tupac. <laughs> yeah. Similar. That was originally chances. <laughs> I see no chances. <laughs> Wake up in the morning and ask myself, <laughs> is life love over to the chance myself? Oh, well, Tupac learned the wrong way because he actually had a CCTV business with Biggie Smalls. <laughs> that's a little that's a little known fact that, um, you know, in the early 90s, there was a recession. Yeah. And Tupac and Biggie, they had a CCTV business, yeah. And Biggie Smalls had a loan out. And and it was affecting what... his finances, a £4,000 loan. Tupac just, you know. Is this an email from Tupac? What? No. He had mentioned in the last episode that he's living in Cornwall. California, it's pronounced. Cornwall. Columbia. California. So what can you do? You've got to cut your losses and just say, and put it down to life experience. Yeah. Or, revenge, or shoot them and make it look like a hip-hop rivalry. That's what I would do oh, is, like you know, yeah. find Gun someone. Gun them down in Vegas after a Mike Tyson fight. I, I genuinely, like, and I'm not, I'm not <laughs> condoning violence. I'm just telling people what I would do. This is instructive, isn't it? Because I'm your business partner. Let me just <laughs> pay attention. What would you do if someone fucked you over in a business sort of situation? I, I would, in some way, ruin their life. Right. Why well, just asking them riddles out over and over? <laughs> Turn the freezer off and you go to work. I would like... Oh, that hurt me then. I would drive them insane. I would just like do little things where they're like, I didn't put that there. Just move stuff slightly out the way so they're constantly questioning reality. Like into the house, live there. <laughs> And be mildly inconvenient. She won't even answer calls. <laughs> I just keep moving them. I'm talking about my missus. I, I just, just, I just keep making them question reality, and then at one point I'd hire a gang to beat them up. Obviously, <laughs> less With playful. A, yeah, but the yeah. weakest. Have you seen the French film Amelie? She sort of gets revenge in a in a more playful sort of whimsical way. No, violence. She is changes. O- violence like, is often is, the answer. What is it in Matilda? In Matilda, he, she changes her dad's like hair dye. It's his hair tonic into like. His mum's peroxide and stuff like that. That's quite good. Yeah. Put rice in every it's shampoo. A little more playful than, and just get a gang to twat them. Yeah. Rice and Yeah. Cut their tyres all the time. So you slice the tyres, <coughs> they get them fixed. Next day, again, people will run out of tyre money eventually. <laughs> get them back with tyres. Yeah. yeah. Put like up. fake bombs through their letterbox. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Adam's got, Adam's got no whimsy in him. Hurt them physically <laughs> with a gang so it's not you. <laughs> Yeah, you just pay smackheads to do it. Right. Put a car from wheel on the front door. Sorry, what? You That'll pay a gang of... A gang of smackheads? Yeah. Right. They'll do anything <laughs> for a bit of smack. But they're not going to twat people very well. Like, eh, a gang of them will. A gang of them will, yeah. Like the, not seen zombie films. <laughs> yeah. They're just smackheads. more dangerous in numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're just smackheads who've been paid to beat yeah. people up. Zombie Some people. really high-achieving smackheads around your way, haven't you? <gasps> Put you need help. string in the locks. Good. That's a, yeah. Put on top of a door a bucket with water in so it jumps the door. Ah! Put boiling water. Yes. <laughs> Adam's evil twist. Silly string with explosives. Oh, but yeah. But betrayal deserves horrific violence and torture for as long as necessary. Good. I will remember that. <laughs> Shaggers, dad. When I'm not. But that is actually a really good idea. Yeah. Go to a bar where you know his dad is. You might not know yet. Probably doesn't. Be all over him, suck a stick, bum his head off. Bam, Bob's your uncle. Does she want to fuck old men? 
He might not be old. Revenge. He might be fit old. Maybe like George Clooney. Maybe maybe he had, he had a child when he was 12. Maybe. Hey, I'm thinking these things. Samantha, you need to start sucking all men's dicks. That's how no, but cum is fertile quite early, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> He's an angel. That's all I'm saying. A virile man. <laughs>